Hi, I'm Ben Lindell, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export tracks from Logic and import them into Pro Tools. Now, you know, whether you're a musician who's taking their song to a studio that only runs Pro Tools, or you're a producer that's sending your tracks off to get mixed, you're going to need to know how to do this. Uh, now, there's a lot of options along the way that often get people tripped up, so I'm going to show you how to get past those. All right, let's get started. So here we are in Logic 9. As you can see, we have a rock and roll session pulled up with a whole bunch of audio tracks and a couple of instrument tracks as well. Uh, now, first things first, Logic uses the track name as the file name when exporting. So you can make it easier on yourself and others by naming these before you export. And that way, when we import into Pro Tools, those names are going to carry over and we'll know what's what. Also, another thing to know is that in Logic, even when a track is muted, it's still going to export. Now this can be a big problem if you have lots of scratch tags or just ideas floating around inside of your session. So there's two ways to fix this. One is to select the regions on those tracks, press M to mute them, or the other is to do a save as for safety purposes and then take all those tracks and delete them. One last thing to take note of is that Logic only exports audio and instrument tracks. So that means any aux tracks that you may have won't get exported, such as effects returns, or subgroups. All right, so I think we're all set. Let's actually export this song. So let's go to File, Export. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of options here. But for right now, we're just going to be using all tracks as audio files. All right, that brings up a Save Dialog box. And it opened up to the desktop. That's fine. I'm just going to create a new folder and give it the song name. And also a great habit to get into when importing and exporting from Logic to Pro Tools is to include the BPM of the song in the folder. So that way when you open up in Pro Tools later, you're not going to have to guess what the tempo is. All right, create. So there's a bunch of options that we need to double check before exporting our tracks. The first one is bit depth. As you can see, Logic defaulted to 32-bit float. But to bring this into Pro Tools without having to convert it again, I'm going to select 24-bit. Now, right above there, you see Save Format. Logic defaulted to AIFF, which is fine, but to make this more compatible between Macs and PCs, I'm going to use the WAV format. Now, the rest of these options are brand new to Logic 9, but they're incredibly useful. The first one is Bypass Effect Plugins. Now, what this does is it turns off all the inserts on your tracks and exports just the raw recorded audio, which can be great if you're giving it to somebody else to mix, as it gives them complete freedom to apply their own plugins. Now, if you like how your tracks sound already and you want to export them with these effects on them, leave this unchecked, and when you open it up in Pro Tools, it'll sound identical. Next option is Include Volume Pan Automation. By checking this, Logic will print your volume and pan automation onto your exported tracks. It will even take your mono tracks that have pan information and turn them into stereo tracks. This will be great, so when you import your tracks into Pro Tools, everything will be in the same spot in the stereo field. Once again, if you're sending your track off to be mixed by somebody else, it may be a good idea to uncheck this, as it will give them complete freedom over the volume and panning of your tracks. The last option in Logic 9 when exporting your tracks is to normalize. There's three options here. Off, overload protection only, and on. When you set normalize to off, Logic will absolutely not touch the gain of any of your tracks. Even if they're peaking and distorting, it'll export them that way, so it's kind of risky. Now, overload protection only will take those tracks that were peaking and distorting, and it'll turn them down so they peak at 0 dB. So it's kind of the safe way to do it. Now, when Normalize is set to on, Logic is going to normalize every single track that you export. The soft ones are going to be brought up to 0, the loud ones are going to be brought down, and your whole balance that you've been listening to is gone. So it's kind of the unnecessary way. So I'm going to play it safe and select overload protection only. And now we're ready to export. All right, so here's my folder. You wait too long, 89.5 BPM. So let's double check that all our files are in the right place. And it looks like everything's there. So let's open up Pro Tools and import these. Now we need to import all the tracks that we just exported from Logic. So to do that, I'm going to go to File, Import, Audio, Navigate to my Desktop. Open up the folder I export all my tracks into. And here we go. So I select the first one. Now it's very important that when doing this, you do not select Add or Add All, as this will not copy the file into your session folder. You're very likely to lose the files in the future. Instead, 
select all, and come down and press either convert all or copy all. And then press done. Choose your destination folder. We're going to choose audio files, the default. And let Pro Tools sit here and think. Okay, now Pro Tools has imported all my audio. Now just a few last options. First one is destination. Now I can either choose to put all the files on a new track or have them put it into the region list. So I'm going to leave it on new track. And I can also choose the location to place all these files. So I can either choose the session start, selection, or in a spot. So I'm going to choose session start and click OK. All right, so here's all my tracks I exported from Logic in Pro Tools now. Uh, as you can see, they're just in alphabetical order at the moment, so I'm going to need to rearrange these uh, to kind of make a little bit more sense. But overall, that's about it. Today we exported all of our tracks out of Logic and imported them into Pro Tools. Now I've shown you one way how to do this, but as you may remember, there are a couple other options such as OMF and AAF files. Now these have their own advantages and disadvantages. Big advantage is that when you open them up in Pro Tools, you can edit all of your regions, volume, and pan automation. But a big disadvantage, especially if you're a music producer, is that all your software instruments don't get printed as audio files. And when you open them up in Pro Tools, they just disappear. So it's up to you to pick which method is going to work best for your project. But I find that most of the time, the method that I've shown you today usually will work the best. So until next time.